Welcome to BuzzLogic Vino Diaries, where influencers talk and I taste. I'm your host, Valerie Combs, and I'm here at District Wine Bar with the very wonderful Sam Whitmore of Sam Whit- Whitmore's Media Survey. Welcome, Sam. If you wouldn't mind just giving a quick uh, description of what Media Survey is. Sure. Our company studies tech editorial. We study it the way that you know, Stratomatic Baseball or like statisticians, we, we sort of reverse engineer what runs and we help PR people get better results. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wherever they are, it's the homework that you, you know, Cliff's notes. Right. The homework that exactly. you may think you had time to do, but you don't. Right, you exactly. Don't. And that's something that I think in the social media space right now is desperately needed. So before we dive into that conversation, let me talk a little bit about what we're trying here. It's a Chocolon. Uh, this is a Syrah from Chile. And supposedly it tastes like chocolate, which means I'll hate it. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's give it, it a try. It was my choice. It's my fault. Yeah. No, it smells amazing and very unusual. So. I'll have to rent sideways today. I beat you to it. Sorry. I couldn't go back. <sighs> Delicious. Really good. So, Sam, let's talk a little bit about, you know, you're, you've got some unique perspective from how old media and new media are sort of colliding. So let's talk a little bit about how you've seen new media change in the last five years. What would you say is the single biggest difference between now and, let's say, five years ago in the way that PR people need to navigate media? Well, right now, it's everybody's looking at the many the readers talking to other readers. Um, and, and how do you harness that? How do you introduce yourself? Should you identi- identify yourself as a PR person? And how do you insinuate yourself into conversations? <clears throat> I think the big mistake that people make is that they don't cultivate it. You really need two to three to four to six months to just be part of a conversation without coming in right. with your business Guns card. blazing. Coming in, in there. transactionally. That's the big mistake that most PR people make. They, they try to harvest the crop before they're cultivated it over time. So you really need those relationships built up, first name basis relationships, then harvest. Right. You know? So the big media are looking at that phenomenon and they're saying, how do we leverage our readers to create content and create excitement? If you go to Fortune or Forbes and you look at how few comments that people make on their articles, that scares them. Right. They have huge circulations, but hardly any readers react to the content, right? So they're saying, Arrington's getting 100 comments every time he clicks on the keys. Right, right. What's his secret? Mm-hmm. And so the ad agencies are saying, what's wrong with your readership? They don't seem to be engaged in the content. Right. That's where the bloggers and the social networks have a tremendous advantage because they can prove that people actually care about what's being written. Right. So what are some of the ways that some of these bigger media companies are actually trying to you know, circumvent that issue? Well, I'll tell you, Business Week is turning itself on its ear right now. They are in a, uh, a pattern of having once a month to collaborate with readers to do a theme issue or a theme article. In August, there's going to be something called Business Network. And they went out to the readership and said, what's it like to work for a toxic boss? What's it like to be a female when you're paying two-thirds of what the guy gets? That sort of thing. And so... Readers have submitted videos, have created blog posts, and have collaborated with Business Week editors to produce articles and video that are going to be in the print magazine, on the, on the website, and also on Business Week TV. This is going to be next month. Wow, that's interesting. So what do you think the role then of professional editorial, both as it applies to old media and some of these new media's new media contenders like TechCrunch, what is the role of professional editorial versus consumer generated content? Is one going to start outweighing the other? Is well, it going to be some sort of merging of the two? It's a great question. Within mainstream media, packaging has become like the number one talent. Packaging, user generated content, as well as working with the reporters. A lot of the reporters and editors are like, we're the pros here. We have the expertise. And so there's a little bit of latent arrogance in there that a lot of the the, the change agents within these big publications are saying, hey, smarten up. The readers know, in many cases, more than what we know. And so let's collaborate with them. So packaging and also just socially having the skill set to coax readers to participate, that's a brand new uh, priority for for the magazine. Right. And some newspapers too. Right. So when you're talking to, you know, clients in the PR community that are coming to you for, you know, guidance in navigating sort of the hybrid of new media today, 
what are like some of the key hot buttons that they're just grappling with and trying to figure out and what are some of the solutions that that you're presenting? We advise people to look at on websites most emailed, most uh, popular, because the editors look at those very, very carefully. It's almost like the publishers have become like broadcasters. You know, broadcasters care about the ratings. Oh, this show did great. Well, let's do more shows like that. Mm-hmm. Editors are starting to think the same way. If this article gets 50,000 clicks and that article gets 10,000, they're not likely to assign in the future very many articles on those topics. They're increasingly starting to assign work based on the popularity, how many page views that these articles get. Yeah. So that's a broadcast that's a that's a putting the readers first and sort of giving the readers what they want instead of the traditional, which is eat your vegetables. We know this is right, right. right. So right. so it's moving that way. Are so you, PR people need to be aware of that. Yeah, no, that's an interesting dynamic. Well, one other dynamic I quickly wanted to touch on is we talked about how professional editorial is being sort of impacted by the rise of consumer generated content on that side. What about PR people? You know, they used to be the gatekeepers to kind of the, that elite business reporting group. Now everyone blogs. Anyone can pick up a pick up a phone or in a blogger's case send an email. How how can PR people still protect sort of their skill set? Or is it become everyone can kind of jump in the game and do? No. It's not commoditized at all. <laughs> because you gotta remember about the client. Yeah. Now the client is still beating the pulp out of PR people saying, I want to be in the personal journal. I want to be on the New York Times. Mm-hmm. And um, it still takes... And those, those headlines, those, or, I'm sorry, those those magazines still matter. Those, well, they totally those papers do. still matter. Brand is still very important. Yeah. It's still very important. So PR people have the challenge of doing today's job and tomorrow's job at the same time. Mm-hmm. They still have clients that can get. And if they don't get it, then the agency loses the account many times. But, but the reality of it is that the real power is moving down and out into into the Facebooks and the Yelps and the about.coms and that sort of thing. So what PR needs to do is practice a high level of, of client expectation management. Mm-hmm. And, and we do that a lot with our subscribers. We'll be the independent person that says to the crotchety, I want to be in the journal type right. person. You know, it's not so bad. Maybe you should publish yourself. Right. Where's your blog? Right. Have you heard of SEO? Have yeah. you heard of tagging? Have you heard of delicious? Yeah. No. So we, we smack these people around. <laughs> PR people like yeah. that. Yeah. But they, so they have to do that balance. Right. Interesting. Well, very, very interesting insights. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank A lot you. of good stuff. It was fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.